Yeah, I do want it kind of hard. Set bow times in battle, gym level caps, yeah. Oh, go oh, recording. Are you boy or girl? Yeah, boy. Hey, everyone. My name is Joey. Sometimes I play games, but not very often. And welcome back if you were ever here in the first place. We are playing some Pokemon Crystal Legacy. This is a ROM hack by Smith Plays Pokemon. I put his nice little logo up there to remind you all that <laughs> this is not my doing. I'll leave a link in the description for his channel, for his information about the game, how to download it, how to patch it, etc., etc. Essentially, this is a remastered version of the original Pokemon Crystal, the Gen 2 Pokemon Crystal, which is one of my all-time favorites is Gen 2, despite me being a Gen 1-er. So let us play this. This is going to be the long play version. We'll make some uh, organic version. We'll make some uh, hyper versions, highlights later. Zzz, hmm? What? You woke me up. Will you check the clock for me? What time is it? I know these voices won't get annoyed, you all. It is day three o'clock. What? Day three o'clock? Yep. How many minutes? Did we just, like, barge into Oak's house or whatever? Pitch black? Middle of the day, dude? You just, like, hung over on a bender? Whoa, 50 minutes. Yep. Day 350? Yikes, I overslept. Yeah, certainly, certainly you did, Oak. Hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof. This world is inhabited by creators that we call Pokemon. Aw, oh, little whooper. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. But we do not know everything about Pokemon yet. So it seems like this dialogue is unaffected so far. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? Chris. Matt with one T. Alan John. Now, I know Smith, I believe, is Canadian. I don't know if we're going to see any sort of non-American spellings in anything. I mean, it's spelled like Matt, like a doormat. Matt, a you. We gotta go with, I just gotta go with my name, right? It just seems weird not going with my human name, or my, my nickname, obviously Joseph is the, do you, you want it as Joseph? <sighs> nah, it's not gonna be Joseph, sorry. You want, you want it to be Joseph, you can make your own playthrough, and then name it Joseph. Joey, are you ready? Yeah, after barging into your house, of course I am. Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. I'll be seeing you later. And then I just show up in my room again. That's just how things went. Okay. So if you do go to Smith Plays, his channel, uh, and, one of, and one of those videos... There will be links in the description, I guess I could just put it in the description myself, of the guide that's on a Google Doc that will explain differences and adjustments in the games. Really, a lot of it is, uh, from what I recall, and I didn't want to read too much into it because I didn't want to like spoil anything for myself and you know make you guys think I was playing ahead of time. Town map, everything looks to be pretty much similar. And I'll explain everything from level adjustments and... Um, attack power and accuracy and things like that. I'm going to say right off the bat, again, because this, this channel is called Sometimes Joey Plays, don't expect me to be like this Pokemon master that just has everything memorized in terms of stats and EVs and all this stuff. Hello, Joey. I'm visiting. Joey, have you heard? Oh, I did hit A again. My daughter is adamant about becoming Prof Elm's assistant. She really loves Pokemon. That's cool. Who are you, by the way? And yes, I know Prof. It's supposed to be a hyphenated version of Professor, but come on, I gotta be a dork in this. All right, let's talk to Mommy. Oh, Joey, our neighbor Prof M was looking for you. Your gear is back in the shop. Here you go. I received Poke Gear. <laughs> nice. Pokemon gear, or just Poke Gear? Uh oh, the day of the week isn't set. You mustn't forget that. What day is it? It is Tuesday, and I made sure to start this in the afternoon because something about starting a silver gold crystal run at night, I don't know, just feels, feels really weird. So it's Tuesday. In real life, it's Tuesday. 
Tika, is it? You tell me, you're my mom. Is it daylight savings time now? I always mess this up. So, it's February. We haven't set the clock forward yet, so I believe that means yes, this is daylight saving. 3.53 p.m. Just, is that okay? I'm sure. It just doesn't really matter. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? Yeah. Great. I won't. <laughs> I haven't, you know, as a little kid, I always kind of skip through a lot of this dialogue because just, like, I want to play the game and, like, reading stupid. Like, people who like books, I mean, y'all y'all got that. But <laughs> it just announces, I won't say how to use it. Just, just move on to the next point of the conversation. Oh, and remember, you can get there faster if you run. Oh, that's right. Okay, pressing B does make you run in this. It's going to take me a minute to get used to that because I'm just so trained to walk at this pace in Gens 1 and 2. Okay, it's a little convenient. <laughs> He's got a little hunchback when he runs. So here we are, New Bark Town. Oh, this is nice and slick. Look at him go. Uh, do I want to talk to every single NPC here? Yo, Joey! I heard Profound discovered some new Pokemon. That's it. Glad you're here. And I know, I know, there wasn't, like, the internet, and you had to get a, a physical strategy guide back then, so you really had to talk to everyone to get context. Wow, your poking gear is impressive. Did your mom get it for you? What are you trying to say? I'm 10. Of course my mom did. What, you think I just had polka dollars just chilling here? Um, doesn't, what is this? Elm's house. Doesn't, like, the mom or the wife or the girl give you something? When I grow up, I'm going to help my dad. I'm going to be a great Pokemon professor. Has she done it yet? I don't know all the, the back lore of mangas and, and stuff, so I don't know. Did that girl ever become a professor? professor? <laughs> Hi, Joey. My husband's always so busy. I hope he's okay. When he's caught up in his Pokemon research, he even forgets to eat. I forget to eat so much. All the time I forget. Oh, I just skipped through that. Wait, wait, wait. I want to read it. Okay, sorry. Pokemon, where do they come from? Where are they going? Why has no one ever witnessed a Pokemon's birth? I kind of call... That, that seems a little hard to believe. I feel like even though this was, what, 1999, 2000, I feel like, like a birth would have been seen. And even then, it would just be common sense that for the most part, they're just born like you and me. Even though we don't lay eggs. Okay, I know that's not entirely true. Someone's going to be in the comments being like, Clearly you don't know about this Pokemon just rips itself in half and, you know, becomes a new one. And of course, Porygon was artificially made. I want to know. I will dedicate my life to the study of Pokemon. That's good. It's a part of Prof. Elm's research papers. Yeah, you're getting a, definitely got a lot done in this one-room house. I know we'll be seeing a lot of that. I mean, I know in red and blue you get... Wait, do you have something for me? Pikachu is an evolved Pokemon. I was amazed by Prof. Elm's findings. He's so famous for his research on Pokemon evolution. Sigh. I wish I could be a researcher like him. Well, then, well I mean, sitting in this one-room house, watching the, the, the TV, which it just doesn't even say... You're not even watching anything. It just states that it's a TV. And listening to the radio... Prof. Oak's Pokemon Talk. Please tune in next time. Pokemon Channel! This is DJ Mary, your co-host. Pokemon! Pokemon Channel! Great. Cool. Glad we stopped in for that. And we always gotta talk to and get assaulted by this jerk. Hmm. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? push a push just kick that guy's butt, like, okay, I, I mean, I will admit, it is weird just to go up behind him and be like, you know, hey, what you, what you, what you doing? But, you know, shoving me, is that really necessary? All right, let's go do this part. Joey, there you are. I needed to ask you for a favor. 
I'm conducting new Pokemon research right now. I was wondering if you could help me with it, Joey. I really don't want to. But please, I need your help. <laughs> no. But please. <laughs> Does it just keep repeating that? But please. <laughs> it's not that funny, but it's just like. Remember again the context. We're like, what, 10 years old? How old is. Uh, Ethan, the protagonist, he's like 10, right? Aren't we just always 10 in these games? But please... <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Thanks, Joey. You're welcome, bro. I, I just want to progress in the game. That's really all it's about. You're a great help. I try. When I announce my findings, I'm sure we'll delve a bit deeper into the many mysteries of Pokemon. You can count on it. All right. You got mail. Oh, hey, I got an email. It's an electronic mail. That was, like, so cool back in the day. How many emails do we all have now? Because we just get too much junk. Hey, listen. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> you guys dating or something? <laughs> it is. It is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Yeah, it sure looks like it. Wait! I know! Joey, can you go in our place? This time I didn't get an option to say yes or no. You, you know, it's it's like a two-minute walk, my guy. I just I think it's okay if you leave for two minutes, but it's just a game. I want you to raise one of the Pokemon containing these balls. I'm going to be capitalized like that. You'll be that Pokemon's first partner. Joey! Go on, pick one. I'm not even gonna build up suspense, guys. I just want, I just want this guy, yeah, Cyndaquil. You'll take Cyndaquil, the fire Pokemon. Yes, sir. I think that's a great Pokemon too. I received a Cyndaquil. Give a nickname to the Cyndaquil you received. Uh, I'm not gonna do. I don't. I, I just don't have the energy to keep thinking of names, and I would keep picking human names the whole time. By the way. Mr. Pokemon lives a little bit behind Cherry Grove, the next city over. It's like 60 seconds away. It's almost a direct route, but not direct enough for us to leave. <laughs> you can't miss it. But just in case, here's my phone. Call me. And just think, like we're not getting compensated with anything besides from the Cyndaquil. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Joey, I'm counting on you. Okay. Was there anything in this trash can? <laughs> the wrapper from the snack Prof Elm 8 is in there. And that's it? Was it a candy bar? Was it a... Joey, I want you to have this for your errand. Joey received potion. Joey put the potion. Blah, blah, blah. There are only two of us here, so we're always busy. Yep. Yeah, you look busy. Standing in place. And you down there, you might you might rotate every now and then. Oh, to the right, back. You can go left or up. Let's see. Come on. There we go. I just have to see it one more time. Okay, so you're still here. Uh, we'll deal with you later. All right, so we are off on our adventure. Okay, so I guess the goal overall in this is to, I mean, what's considered beating the game, beating red, right? So that is what we're going to do. If you see on the left side, I've set this up nicely to, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I just remembered. I just remembered. They give you a berry right away, and I'm going to take that off right now so that doesn't heal me in, like, a wild battle because we're just right now just training yeah uh, over there on the left uh we have all the milestones that is that are in crystal is our is our in crystal so all the johto badges the three r symbolizing the three rocket events which would be slow poke well oopsies come back there we go all right now you know the secret <laughs> the slow poke well the lake of rage and the radio tower uh, being the Elite Four, uh, all the rival battles, the the, the, the the Kanto gym badges. Jeez, took me a second there. And 
I mean, we don't really need to put Red up there, because once we... Obviously, that would be the end of the game. There's, like, no point of highlighting him. Okay, we got Barry. I'm waiting for Pokemon that appear only at night. <laughs> and then you go up to him, and he's going to say, I'm only waiting for people... But people... <laughs> I'm only waiting for Pokemon that show up during the day. Yeah, you're showing up waiting for people catching them. What's up, dude? You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone's a rookie at some point. If you like, I could teach you a few things. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, it's something I enjoy doing. Oh, fine. Come see me when you... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm getting away from you. <laughs> but... Oh, that's right. He gives you the town map if you like taunt him. All right, well, we can do it on the way back. So, this is not done live yet, uh, where we don't have a chat or anything, but I can do my best to just talk and talk and talk. Thank you for the berry. So, my first Pokemon exposure. Obviously, the cards in the anime when I was a little kid. And then I got Game Boy Color and Pokemon Red for my birthday. I've been six or seven, and I'll probably talk more about that when Smith releases the Yellow Legacy, which at the time of the recording... He is still working on, and... Oh, I, well, I really gotta, like, work Cyndaquil up here, because we got that battle coming up. Yeah, I'm just gonna fast-forward it. I'm gonna... F I think I'll just fast-forward wild encounters that are not relevant. Like, Red Gyarados and stuff like that, I'll probably let it play out, but just a, a Pidgey or Rattata, we can just speed this up. The trainer battles, I'll keep at normal speed, but we definitely want to just go through this. I mean, if, if you are someone who wants it to just play at normal speed, you know, leave in the comments. We'll see if we get a majority rule or something like that. But yeah, I'll talk more about my experience the first time playing Pokemon Red when we do the Gen 1 uh, Legacy. So let's, uh, these guys. Hello, hello, you must be Joey. Prof Elm said you would visit. What, like two minutes ago? This is what I want Prof Elm to examine. Received mystery egg. That's weird, is like that the only time that little chime plays is for the mystery eggs? You know, I don't, I don't recall really ever hearing it after that. <sighs> Sorry, whoops. Gotta take a sip here. Ah, that's good beverage. I'm not gonna... Read out brand names on here? Are you kidding me? Pay me. I also have a special item for you. Joey received the XP sh Oh! Oh, that's cool. Hmm. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty nifty right now. I put XP share in the item pocket. I know a couple who run a daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Profilm. For Pokemon Evolu Tian, Profilm is the authority. Even Prof Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Prof Elm will know it. So you're telling me Pro Professor Oak knew nothing about evolution and, like, was he just a fraud in Gen 1? Aha, uh -huh, so you're Joey, the one who broke into my house and <laughs> I was hung over. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. We know that. Like, don't we already know that? I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Prof Elm, just like how <laughs> Red had to run an errand for me in the tutorial. I'll get to that in a, in a get to, back to that in a minute. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. Let's see. Hmm. I see. I understand why Prof Elm gave you that Pokemon for this errand. Apparently, it's illegal to go out in any Pokemon world with no Pokemon. To researchers like Prof Elm and I, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah, you seem to be dependable. Yeah, because I ran this little two-minute errand for you. How would you like to help me out? Why, 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 why is everyone asking children to help them? I mean, these aren't full-grown adults. See, this is the latest version of Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Go meet, man. You go meet? <laughs> Hello, my name is Joey. Nice to meet you. Sometimes I play games, and I'm playing you right now. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex! But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. 
a weird way of describing it, like your weekly radio show, no, usual. Joey, I'm counting on you. Do, do, do. You are returning to Pro Elm. Yeah, I really don't want to stay here with you, dude. Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. Oh, just to rest with this old man? I'm depending on you. Yeah, and here's the thing, too. Okay, so he's Mr. Pokemon. First of all, he gets a really basic NPC sprite. I don't know if they update that in uh, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Uh, let me get to that. I'll get to that in a minute, too. My, um, I really, my Pokemon journey really came back full circle. I like, left and came back home. But anyway, your name's Mr. Pokemon. Like, what, what is your, is that your surname? Like, what, what are you, what's your name? Jonathan Pokemon? What's your name? What's your last name? Uh, already blowing me up. Like, aren't you not supposed to, like, hit somebody up until, like, three days after you get their number? <laughs> Hello, Joey? It's a disaster. Um, um, it's just terrible. Dude, what, what should I do? It, oh, no. Please, get back here now. Yo, your, your whole wife lives across you. You are a grown man, and in a time of need, you are calling this 10-year-old child. I'm, I'm just going to assume everyone watching, for the most part, has the basic knowledge of Crystal, whether it was from Gen 2 or the remake. So, okay, yeah, I actually really stepped away from Pokemon for a long time. Um, Gen 3 was the last one I played, and I remember I, I really didn't like Ruby and Sapphire that much. Um, I remember being mad because... Um, you could not, in fact, catch them all. Um, and I will agree with that classic IGN review, uh, uh, what was it, too much water? It was, it was so much water, and you had to have, like, 6,000 water HMs, and it just took up space, and, you know, and then, um, oh yeah, and then they kept coming out with, um, new consoles, and I just, you know, didn't want to keep buying things like the DS, so I never owned a DS, um, I never had the Wii, but I don't think that really a affected, you know, Pokemon gameplay. Where am I going? I'm going to have to heal up because a uh, rival is going to show up. So really, it, believe it or not, it's Pokemon Go that brought me back into the world of Pokemon. I did end up getting a Switch. I did end up getting Sword and Shield. You know, Sword was, yeah. And I really do like Violet. I'll say that I do like Violet. Um, and why am I doing this? Well, seems easy and, well, I, all right, let me not say easy enough. <laughs> I get to sit here and play Pokemon for a little bit and some people get to watch me and hopefully I just put a smile on your face. I'm going to credit, give a shout out to Picaspri, if you ever watch this, I'll be really surprised, because his, uh, playthroughs of these, um, GB, GBA Pokemons are very relaxing, actually. So I thought, eh. Why don't I make something relaxing, too? All right, we're going to... I think we might need the town map because I don't have, like, routes and stuff memorized in terms of number. This is a Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot. Yeah, we probably will. We probably will. I suck. So you better learn about them. Well, I already did. This is a Pokemon Mart. They sell balls. For catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. What, they have, like CBD oils there? Route 30 is out this way. Trainers will be battling their prized Pokemon there. Yeah, I'm sure they're prized, all right. I am sure they're prized. This is the sea, as you can see. <laughs> oh, I thought you were a creepy dude, but now I'm, I'm starting to like you a little bit. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Some Pokemon are only found in water. A oh, guy just chilling over there. Here. It's my house. Ugh. Thanks for your company. Let me give you a small gift. Oh, this dude is sick. Oh, okay, the map card. Okay. Oh, that's right. It's not a real map. It's a map card. Now, now my Pokegear is a map. Pokegear becomes more useful as you add cards. I wish you luck on your journey. I wish you luck on not going to jail. 
Uh, Cyndaquil is healed up because we're about to have the first rival. I didn't even like really look at this. Okay. Um, again, when it comes to like EVs, IVs, I, I, I don't know what all this means. So, okay. There's, there's the stuff. Okay. Attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. If I, I don't know if this is a if this cynical's butt juice or not, I'll let you all determine that. Aw. DVs. Um, what the just I, like just don't get knocked out. Like that that that's all I'm concerned about. Don't get knocked out. What do you gotta say, lady? When you're with Pokemon, going anywhere is fun. Okay, so the DMV is gonna be fun. The dentist is gonna be fun. I mean, I guess it would be. Pokemon experience in battle and change their form. Pokemon chains? I would be so shocked if one of them did that. Well, girl, I'm about to, I'm about to let you in on something. It's going to happen. I guess, like, in the timeline of things, people are still getting used to this whole thing. Alrighty. Hang on one little second here. Oh, jeez, I just realized I didn't hit on pause. I just didn't unpause. No. Can I go back? Ah, oh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is uh, the growing pains. Hmm? Wants to battle. Hmm? Send out Totodile. Guess I could have, like, quick saved it or something. All right, Cyndaquil. All right, two levels up. Um. So... I can't remember, do you have to win this battle? <laughs> See, I'm going to go the cheap way and smoke screen you. Smoke on this screen, how about that? Hey, that's not supposed to hit. All right, I guess we better bring his defense down too. Because I thought that was way bulky. But yeah, I can't remember if you actually had to win this battle or not. Okay, we better start actually attacking. Okay, critical hit. That's always helpful. Hey, hey, I gave you two smoke screens, sir. Oh, I should have put the berry back on. Oh, you can't use lambs and bow. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to get used to that because I'm 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 not used to like these hardcore runs with like no items in battle and all that stuff. So, in my casual playthroughs, I'm not super big on items, but having to compete. PvP and uh, Violet online. That's really taught me the importance of items. You didn't know that there were items in games? No, I knew there were items in games. I just didn't really ever think to attach them, and I did. But, of course, now, back in the day in this game, the items are so much more limited compared to what we got now. Hmm? Was defeated. <laughs> are you happy you want? Yeah, I am. You're, you're a jerk. My name's... Hmm? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Pushes me again. Yo, I want to fight you. <sighs> that guy just really... That guy just really boils my ramen. I'm going to do my best to keep this a, a family channel, you know? Or I'm going to say words like... Uh, you know, I was center it. I used to, the first time I saw center it, I just thought it was like a big eye. That like center was like an eye, but I, I didn't realize it was like it's creamy center. I mean, you, you know, like, you know, like in a, one of those like swirly cupcakes. Center it, the cupcake Pokemon. Well, didn't that eventually happen? Like, there's a cupcake Pokemon, right? I know there's Dachshund or whatever. You know, it's like the the donut Pokemon. At this point, I mean. There's just everything. It has been fun, though, like, getting reacclimated to Pokemon and learning about all the ones that I missed. And at first, you know, I used to be real Gen 1 and be like, oh, this Pokemon is stupid. They made a Pokemon out of a, uh, what's, like, near me? Those shoes. Are there, is there a shoe Pokemon yet? If not, Game Freak, if you're listening, you're welcome. do 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 and we gotta go back and snitch on. Hmm. There we go for the low attention span people. So I know there was a something about a level cap, and I wonder 
what that cap is going to be. I think I remember Smith saying something about the cap would be like whatever your next gym leader's highest level Pokemon is. And in vanilla, that would be a level 9 Pidgeotto. Alright, let's go console this grown man who lost one Pokemon, didn't get hurt or anything. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Prof Elm. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. What? You battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? So some people have made his name. Hmm? You can make his name. <gasps> but, you know, it's just tradition. You just gotta name him Butt. Come on now, like, it lets you still do that. Okay, so Butt was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. That's all he needed to hear. That's it. You know. You okay, buddy? <laughs> Joey, this is terrible. Oh, yes. What was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Okay, he got over that really quick. <laughs> so much for that. Uh, and the mystery egg. <gasps> this? But is it a Pokemon egg? Um, what? What else? What, you thought it was like eggs from the store? You thought you know, it was a carton of eggs? If it is, it's a great discovery. What? <laughs> Why do you say it like that? <laughs> Prof Oak gave you a Pokedex? Isn't that absurd? And Joey, is that true? That's th th that's incredible. Calm down, calm down. He is superb at seeing the poten tial of people as trainers. Wow, Joey, you may have what it takes to become the champion. What have I done in this short period of time? Okay, I, I woke up. Well, first, apparently I broke into Oak's house, woke up, talked to you, got a Cyndaquil, walked two minutes to that house, returned with an egg. So basically I just kind of like Uber eats that egg. And I bowed the rival and knocked out uh, his level 5 Pokemon and then snitched on him. You seem to be getting on great with Pokemon, too. Ew, ew. Okay, that was a bad choice. Getting on and getting along? You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. The closest gym would be the one in Violet City. It's only one minute further than that two-minute walk you just took. Joey, the road to the championship will be a long one. Before you leave... Make sure that you talk to your mom. Okay. Joey, use these on your Pokedex quest. I received Pokeball. You know, I get like five, right? To add to your Pokedex, you have to catch Pokemon. Throw Pokeballs at wild Pokemon to get them. Joey put the ball Pokeball in. Oh, it's saying. <laughs> I thought he was instructing me to do it. No, it was me doing it. All right, bye, dorks. All right, let's go talk to our mother. Hey, Mom, your underage son is going to go unaccompanied out into, like, the woods and stuff. Wow, that's a cute Pokemon. It's not even out of the ball. Where did you get it? Where do you, where'd you think? At Costco? Mm. So you're leaving on an adventure? Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? I'll just keep, you know, making pizza rolls, I guess. I know. I'll save your money for you. Save your money. Save your money. Lionel Coin Bank. Lionel Coin Bank. On a long journey, money's important. Do you want me to save your money? Nah. Be careful. Pokemon are your friends. You need to work as a team. Now go on. Okay, definitely need a sip of beverage after that. Yeah, because I mean, all she does is occasionally buy you items that you could just buy on your own. And then some poke dolls that you don't want for your room. So, may as well just hang on to the money myself. Huh? <laughs> I've seen you a couple times. <laughs> just something you just don't approach a child and say. <laughs> how many Pokemon have you caught? Zilch. Would you like me to show you how to catch Pokemon? Sure. What's your name? What's your last name? There's probably only like two people if they ever watch this will get this. Oh, his back spread was always weird. Oh, I thought he was going to use the potion for a second. Oh, why did I let this... Why did I let him... Dude, use the Pokeball. That's proper name. Alright, speed up, speed up. That's how you do it. 
Anyway, if you want to learn more about this region, head to the Academy in Violet City. The students know a lot about Pokemon. All right, bet. Okay. No. Oh, a Hopip. I've always liked the Hopip line. And anytime I do a solo run, when I revisit one of these games, I like to try to, you know, challenge myself by giving myself a different team. So let's try to catch this guy. Dude. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. Alright. Look out, Johto. I gotta hop it. Oh, this looks a little different. Uh, I guess uh, Smith redesigned the uh, appearance of this. The cottonweed... It can be carried away on even the gentlest breeze. It may even float all the way to the next town. Okay, that's gonna be that's gonna be really inconvenient, really inconvenient in battle if that happens. Give a nickname to Hop if nah, he chilling. All right, we caught our first Pokemon. You know, just just please do me a favor, Hop if, and and don't be Bud Juice, please. There we go. I could put probably do something like that in post. Like, if you guys have seen what's going on, clearly I'm pausing to add them little guys on there, but for those of you who are familiar with OBS, this is just, just going to save me so much in editing time. And I, and I will edit a, uh, like I said, like a hyper version of this for those of you who don't want a nice slow uh, playthrough. You know, just the highlights, the hello lights. Hello lights. Oh, highlights. So the goal of this episode today, I guess, will just be at least battling Faulkner once, at the very least. If we make it good, if we don't, we don't. But Faulkner really does pose a problem early on if you have Cyndaquil because of Mudslap. And not even so much that it's super effective. I mean, obviously, that is going to play a part in it. But the accuracy drop. He's like a, like a diet version of Koga. But Koga, now Koga's worse because Koga, you know, really tried to like flex the fact that he used double team for everyone. All like, you know, it is what ninja. It's like a ninja. Nah, I think a ninja would still play, honestly. Okay, I can go this way now, right? No, I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. No difference. Oh, yeah, I, I keep forgetting I can run. I can run. I can run. Just not just not used to that in, in pre-Game Boy Advance Pokemons. No, sorry. Sorry. I'm still getting used to this. There we go. Cynical Crew at level 9. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Is this him? Is this the guy? <laughs> I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. This is not something you just say to a person. Hey, you look weak. I guess like if they're dying and they need medical attention, you'd be like, hey, you look weak. You want some help? But not just like, hey, you look weak. Come over here. Yep, it's youngster Joey. Well, little do you know, my name is Joey. Sometimes I play games, but not very often. Your name is Joey, but you're an NPC. How's that feel? But he is of lore status. No, I'll keep the battles uh, normal speed. We can't just speed up everything. All right, hop up, grew to level four. Woo! Ah, I lost again, doggone it! <laughs> like, how old are you, youngster Joey? Doggone it. I think it's just tradition. You have to get Youngster Joey's number, right? Do I have to have more Pokemon in order to battle? But yes, 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 absolutely you do. Absolutely you do. Like, I know this is a game, and I know, like, this is so we can progress. But, like, why does every trainer out here, if this were real life, think that one Pokemon, one 
unevolved, under level 10 Pokemon is a good strategy. No, I'm sticking with this one no matter what. <laughs> Listen, can I get your phone number? I'll ring you for some battles. I'm a rookie too, so I'd think it'd be a good motivator. Yeah. I might regret this later because I know he blows you up a lot, but it just seems like it's tradition to get Youngster Joey's number. I'll ring you whenever I get the urge to battle. Um, let's say I, I think we'll make a little prop bet here. He will contact us before we beat Faulkner. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? Then you have to battle. It's the rules. What, do I, do I go to jail if I don't? Or a law somewhere? That's why you really need to get involved in your, your local elections, even if you're in the Pokemon universe. Hoot Hoot's so cool. I, I mean, I kind of wanted to start this run at night to get a Hoot Hoot. I guess I could easily just wait. But, like I said again, just something about starting a Pokemon run at night it just, just feels weird. You know, you're going to send off some kid. I mean, it's bad enough. You're already sending off a young, unaccompanied minor to perform errands and stuff like that. You know, we're going to do that at night? Nah, son. But I yeah, definitely... The, the, the Pokemon show at night are just cooler anyway. Yeah, Hopip. Oh, Synthesis. Oh, Tail Whip. Oh, yeah, just keep learning everything. Oh, okay, that's it. That's strange. I won before. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't mean you win every time after that. Becoming a good trainer is really tough. I'm going to bat other people to get better. Okay, sounds good. It's not really my problem, but... I'm not a trainer, but if you look one in the eyes, prepare to battle. Okay, then what else are you doing here? Oh, jeez, I looked someone in the eyes. Now I have to battle. Instead of bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. <laughs> bug tr catcher Don wants the battle. Sure. Letty Ba, more like. Oh, okay, I was I was gonna say Letty Ba, more like Letty Bye Bye, but I hit Lear by accident. There, I'll say it again. Lady Ba, more like Lady Bye Bye. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not as cool in the second turn. Spinarak. Yeah, that's like who I I, I want to put a sp like a Spinarak on this team. Like something different. You know, something outside the mess. Something to really challenge, and especially with all the adjustments made to levels and. Um, some attacking moves and things like that. You know, why not? Because I think that the I remember seeing a comment. Uh, I'm I can't remember if it was on Smith uh, Smith channel or someone else where um, I think it was regarding Yellow Legacy, and someone said, you know, it just kind of stunk that you felt forced to stick within the meta and you couldn't use because some Pokemon were just bad. Um, Stat-wise, distribution, move pull, like some were just bad. So if you wanted to use, like, um, I don't see, Farfetch'd or something, like, you're kind of SOL. Like, it, it wasn't strong enough for you to say, okay, like, Farfetch'd is my ace. And I get that. You're going to have that in these games. Like, there's just no way around it. But for me, it was always kind of using these same. There, there's times, actually, where I would replay Red or Blue, and I didn't want to run with the starter the rest of the way, just for something different. Um, speaking of something different, here, what do you want? Doc Cave. If Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. Okay. First of all, they can. First of all, they can. I know you're trying to, like, to drop cute little hints and foreshadow to Flash. I'm sure lanterns and stuff exist. Well, I know the Pokemon lantern. I mean, like, a lantern from, like, Pokemon Home Depot or something. Fire exists. Can't use fire. I walked too far today looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt and I'm sleepy. If I were a wild Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch. Z. Yeah, I, I get that they're trying to give us context and stuff. It's just like no human being talks like that. 
Next time, next time you're tired in real life, just tell somebody, you know, if I was a Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch right now because I'm that tired. Um, I'm just trying to think if it's... We're probably going to have to get another Pokemon for this battle with Faulkner if Mudslap is still a thing. Because here's the thing, Mudslap is going to hit Cyndaquil bad, and even though Hoppip is flying type, grass and flying, well, they're going to have Peck and they're going to have Gust. Uh, oh, I have Gust too. Oh boy, yeah, I can Gust right back at it. I'm just trying to remember what else were in these areas in the early game, but... And then we're level capped, too. I caught a bunch of Pokemon. Let me battle with you. You ever thought of saying please? Thank you? Pardon me? Hello? Good morning? Good afternoon? Nah? You know what? It's like what Stephen A. Smith once said. Stay off the damn weed! <laughs> Demonetized. Ah, uh, okay. Anyone else uses OBS? So I've got it as a mul um, I'm on a Mac, multi audio output or whatever. Okay. Um, this happened when I did a couple of practice runs with my other with the, my backyard football runs, and at a certain point into the game, it just starts to get like really crackly because it's coming out of the the speakers. Um, it doesn't show up in the recording. Thank you know, thank God it doesn't. Let me pause this real quick and see. Sometimes if I pause it and I start back up, it stops. Yeah, okay, so it cleared. The only problem would be is if you heard it through the mic that I'm wearing. Um, I guess absorb is helpful. We don't really need tackle. Let's go with two stab moves. Aww. That's it? That's the best they can come up with? I mean, I know they have a lot of trainer dialogue to work with. I hope no one else picks these up. I'm just littered on the ground. I'm the lucky one. Uh, yeah, what I was saying was, I'm trying to think what would be my best option for Faulkner. I found a good Pokemon in Dark Cave. I'm going to raise it. Take on Faulkner. He's the leader of Violet City's gym. Hi there. Did you visit Sprout Tower? Uh, no, no, I haven't. You clearly saw me enter from this side of the gate, and you're asking me if I visited. Okay. I saw the cutest Pokemon back there. It looked a lot like Pikachu. So was it Pikachu or not? Oh, are they like kind of foreshadow Meryl, Pika Blue, which I think that was that actually was like a misprint on like a promotional card for. Pokemon, the movie 2, Mewtwo Strikes Back. Oh, I'm not going to lie. Okay, okay, really far. Go back up there. Go back up there. Go go face the north again. When I was little, I think I went to the... When I first played Pokemon, I went to the... Varese Don't turn the other way. There we go. There we go. Okay. I went to the Pokemon Academy, and this, this sprite, this NPC sprite, was facing up. Can you face up one more time, please? I thought it was a toilet. I really thought it was a toilet until I hit A, and then it turned around like a, like a stall or something. A urinal, so that's just toilet girl. So we could go to the go the gym now. Go to Bell Sprout Tower. I mean, is truly Bell Sprout Tower required? I mean, you get Flash, and I know, you know, some some you cool people are gonna be like, I can go through anything without Flash. <laughs> it's just so easy. I'm I, I just okay. I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna illuminate these caves, but I'm definitely gonna get like a utility Pokemon for Flash and cut and stuff like that. Um, well, anyway, I don't know what else to really run against Faulkner, and the problem being that we've got this level cap. You could get mad experience points in here for Cyndaquil. A bell spout over a hundred feet tall. People say that it became the center pillar here. And that was more, that wasn't as grainy as I'd like it to. See the pillar shaking? People are training upstairs. There are so many streaming options for you, lady, and you decide to stare at this pillar. And she will she will never leave. Sprout Tower was built long ago as place for Pokemon training. And you're all mid. All of you. Only if you reach the top will you obtain an HM. 
<laughs> it's only like what, three floors? And they had no they didn't put an elevator in here. However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. I surely hope so. I really hope so. But you know, yeah, come to think of it though, like there's so many because of like the weight distribution of so many Pokemon, like what how much does uh Whale Lord weigh and take up space? Like you probably just destroy any building as soon as you release him. It's just a game. That's what my mom, my mom would say. If I ever do like a March Simpson voice, it's supposed to be my mom. And I and I in person I hear it like that to her face. So that's why the mom and the game have the same voice. But I don't know how much more we're gonna talk to mom. Bellsprout looks so like really creepy looking when it moves. Well, once I started playing the Switch Pokemon games, and you really could see Pokemon like move and do stuff in real life. It really, really, they do look creepy. Like, they look creepy when they move. It's like that episode of SpongeBob with Doodle Bob. It's kind of creepy looking when it moves. But Bellsprout, especially, because it's like, the, <laughs> the roots are like its legs. I fought hard, but I'm too weak. No, you're too mid. You're too mid. You're, you're running two level three Bellsprout and a Hoppip, my friend. But it's okay. Let this 10-year-old come in. Like, are y'all not embarrassed when I really think about it? Like, are these strangers not embarrassed that this, like, 10-year-old is coming in here and just laying down work? Uh, I'm probably going to run out of embers. Let me start using tackles and stuff. We stand guard in this tower. Here, we express our gratitude to honor all Pokemon. Well, you could honor them by not being butt juice. Ugh. Hello, Chow. Oh, well, what a surprise. Uh, Bellsprout, who, who would have thought? Now, I like the Bellsprout line, and I would have no problem catching it and running with it, except for the fact, and this is something I don't know if Smith addressed it, in Vanilla Crystal, you can't get any of the elemental stones, Firestone, Waterstone, Leafstone, until the post-game, and you have to show Bill's grandpa a bunch of Pokemon that he like drops hints to, and then when you show him it, you get that stone. And I think you only get one. So we're not doing a Pokedex run. We're just trying to play this up and beat Red. Um, I'm not going to be running Weeping Bell for half this run, even though Weeping Bell does crack me up. Uh, isn't Sunkern like statistically the weakest Pokemon? Or, like, one of the weakest Pokemon ever invented. And Sunflora is weird, too. Like, just, like... Again, these, these Pokemon that are, like, plants that use, like, their plant legs as human legs. Or, you, you know... Plants don't have legs, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Thank you! Uh, wow, they really they really just... Up, uh, up, our first call. All right, we won our bet. Our, we won our bet. Youngster Joey hit us up before he even entered Faulkner's gym. Yo, Joey. How's it going? This is you. <laughs> got, got a minute? Let's get together and battle. I promise things will be different. Route 30 is where I'll be. Give me a shout when you come. Hey, yo. All right, later. All right, I'm actually going to go over and battle him. So let me just uh, cut this real quick. I've been waiting. Let's battle now. I, it, it didn't take me that long to get here, bro. Tr trust me. All right, the rematch that nobody asked for. Let's see how different things are. And my guy couldn't wait. Imagine it was like level 100 Raticate. Oh, level 4. Was it level 4 the first time? We'll let Hophip take this. Yes, you know, we, you know we're going to leave battle animations on. This ain't a speed run. To those of you who do speed runs, uh, hey, y'all got that. Y'all, Y'all got that. Yeah, things are totally different. I beat you with Hopip instead of Cyndaquil. And Hop grew to level 9. Oh, the double bubble. That's right. I got the XP share on. All right, what you got to say now, punk? Ah, I lost again. Doug got it. <laughs> He's going to say that every time. He's going to say that a lot. <laughs> I'll ring you whenever I get the urge to battle. I mean, whenever I get the urge to lose. All right, let me get back to, let me get back to Sprout Tower. Oh, 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 I had to unpause for Pichu. Do I do I really want to get Pichu right now? Wasn't expecting a wild Pichu of all things. Um 
Well, then again, we have the same problem with the elemental stones, right? Nah, let's just kill it. There we go, perfect. All right, get out of here. I wonder if, so, come on, come on. I can't run and fast forward at the same time. I wonder if the egg that you get from the daycare center is also going to be, uh, was it, it's got like a significant pr uh, probability of being a shiny. I mean, who am I gonna flex a shiny on? Um, it has been cool uh, shiny hunting in Violet uh, or doing the, what, what's the method call where you get like a foreign Pokemon and breed it with your domestic Pokemon, like Masud, Masudo, Masuda, I'm totally messing it up. Someone's going to be like, you don't even know the name of things. Yeah, it's, it's okay. There's bigger problems in the world, bro. May as well get hop up the experience. So I remember vaguely that there is a NPC here in Violet that will trade you, ah, uh, Cause us. You'll trade you Onyx for Bellsprout. I'm sure it's the same thing. I'm guessing that might be our best choice because... But, you see, here's the thing. The Mud Slap is still going to be a problem. Maybe not as big of a problem. Like, this this is the thing if, if, if they're still running Mud Slap, which I'm going to assume that they do, is that basically we're going to have to carousel these Pokemon. That, that's the only thing I think of is carousel the Pokemon and hope that it decides not to use Mudslap anymore. Okay, 10. Okay, so 10 must be the cutoff. Because you see that blue bar didn't go up. Hop up is trying to learn Poison Powder. I'm like, I'm, I'm so like, I'm waiting to get just like tr trolled and ripped in the comments. Oh, crap. I didn't want to do that. Oh, oh crap. I really didn't want to do that. I, I hit A too many times. Oh. Uh, I didn't make a save state or anything. Oh, well. Oh, well. I learned poison powder. I mean, actually, actually, that could help us out. I'm not going to lie. That might actually help us out in the battle. So we'll just go. With I didn't want to replace Gust. Oh, no, oh guys, absorb. Oh, all right. Come on, Cynical. You're back. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm waiting to get, like, ripped in these comments by, like, these diehard uh, Pokemon players. Like, oh, why would you use that move? It has a 26.26% chance of being 26% chance uh, bad. I don't I don't know. Leave me alone. Alright, so we gotta get we gotta definitely get another Pokemon for the um, XP share. So what I think I'm gonna do is we gotta run and get a Bell Sprout and trade it for that Onyx because if we're gonna run that Onyx in the thing, the gym thing, come on now. Oh I'm weak. Yeah you are. Um, we're gonna have to you know, get it. All right, so let me go get this bell sprout. All right, cool, we got it, but uh, don't get excited because uh, we're not keeping you very long. The flower, if it notice any, if it notice anything that moves, it immediately flings its vine at the object. Well, kind of a d bag of a Pokemon, huh? Because like a lot of things in this life move. All right. Um, do I, do we have to like heal it? Is it like returning a rental car? I, I kind of feel bad now. I'm going to heal it up. Like putting a full tank of gas in the car. So how y'all doing? You're all still here. We're approaching an hour into the video. So I still like Faulkner being the goal of the first. But if you're watching this, I'm assuming you're someone who just enjoys having these long playthroughs, these Pokemon playthroughs going on in the background. Do you like my soothing voice? I collect Pokemon. Oh, aren't you special? Do you have Bellsprout? <laughs> Want to trade it for my Onyx? First of all, this is steel. This steel. This trade is a steel. This steel is a trade. There, I just went over like 12 paces to the east and got this Bellsprout. I can't get an Onyx because they don't let you walk through the... Um... Oh, yeah, that's right. They all have their cute, uh, their own little cute uh, sprites in the menu now. Nice job, Smith. Okay, connect the game link cable. Don't tell me what to do. Bye, Bell Sprout. We had a lot of memories together. We <laughs> dancing as it goes away. 
I, I hated, like, the whole idea of, like, trading for, like, those. Kyle, that's his name? Oh, now I'm worried about the bell sprout. Kyle sends Onyx. Kyle bids farewell to Onyx. Give him a kiss. Bye, Onyx. Oh, yeah, doesn't he have a nickname, too? All these guys have nicknames. He's pretty... There it is. Take good care of Onyx. I, I'll do my best. Joey traded Bellsprout for Onyx. Yay, I got myself a Bellsprout. Thanks. You're welcome. What? What's its name? Oh, it's named Rocky. That really, really original there. What's it holding? Hardstone. It doesn't even, it's not even going to have a ground. It doesn't matter. We're going to be facing a, a, a flying gym. Trade. Unknown location. Uh, so we'll give it the XP share because we need to get its levels up. And we'll train it in the... We have to get flash anyway, so we may as well just keep going in the Sprout Tower. Ugh, took Rocky's hard stone. Adrian, you play Pokemon with me? I'm not even good. I, I, um, I do not have children, so I am now 32. 32. Um, I have an amazing girlfriend, but we're not engaged or married yet just by hearing this going oh jeez baby why you gotta tell everybody about me because i love you um we don't have um yeah we don't have ch children i almost said chids <laughs> we don't have kids um but i always tell people like i'm i got all the dad jokes but i'm not a dad all right <laughs> okay all right this is gonna be uh, i'm sorry but i'm gonna until we beat faulkner Every trainer is going to be Rocky. It's going to be Sylvester Stallone now. <laughs> yeah, I tried to... <laughs> I, I tried to find a light in the Pokemon. <laughs> it was a lot Rest in peace, Carl Weathers, by the way. Carl Weathers was great on Arrested Development. And obviously Apollo Creed and everything, but on Rust Development, he played a fictionalized version of himself, and he was just basically like if Mr. Krabs were a real life person in terms of like being cheap and you know trying to scam people for money. My training is incomplete. <laughs> With Rocky, I mean, yeah, it probably isn't. They made like six thousand. 6,000 Rocky movies, and I'm, I am from, like, the Philly area. Oh, I didn't read his text, whatever. Oh, it's like a, the, the, the sages age up can light up the, the, the darkness. Um, and I've only really seen the original Rocky and maybe, like, bits and pieces of the other one, and people are like, how are you from Philly, and you, like, don't even, like, watch Rocky? There's, like, each one's, like, tw 12 hours long. I don't, I don't really like watching movies like that. I, I am an ADHD person. It, sitting around and not doing at least like with this I'm doing something with my hands the whole time but a movie you're just sitting there twiddling your thumbs and eating like coleslaw or something oh, I skipped through it oh crap alright alright everyone rewind it whatever he said read it out loud in the Sylvester voice let me see how much you trust your Pokemon <laughs> this is so bad this is so annoying I'm so sorry everybody all these potential subscribers are gone. Fun fact, I had eight at the time of this recording. Let's see, I don't know. If we come back and that'll be different. I'm getting cold. I had shorts, I have shorts on because I was, I was cleaning upstairs for a while and I was getting really hot. But I'm in the basement. Um, this is nice and cool down here. I get warm very easily. Um... But now I'm getting cold with these shorts on. What's like the one NPC from um, Pokemon Red? He's like, I like shorts. They're comfortable and easy to wear. Yeah, he, he wasn't lying on that one. Yeah, 
guys are trusting you. Wait, does does Rocky have the XP share on? It looked like it. Yeah, it does. Okay, I, I thought it would show up twice. Now, again, the question is going to be: Is it going to be able to learn Rock Throw? Because if it's just a level 10 Onyx with tackle and well, Screech is going to be helpful. You are deep skilled as a trainer. As promised, here's your HM. But let me say this: you should bring your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hmm. He claims to be the elder, but he's weak. It stands to reason. I never lose to fools who babble about being nice to Pokemon. Be nice to your Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. But you just escape from. This is why you name. This is why you always name the rival butt or fart or or whatever you can work. There's no shame in it. Cause what was it in, in Let's Go Pikachu? They were able to like really kind of detect um, stupid names like that. So I named the the uh, the rival lame Gerald, and he was lame. I'm sorry. They were so like these rivals have gotten so lame ever since like they've been like your friend. No good for you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. I guess you could say this is the final round. Bum 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 Watch that still get flagged, even though I'm just, like, bumping it. My one video for Backyard Football, the original ones from two years ago, I was setting up a highlight of Trey Ash's touchdown, because Trey Ash is trash. And I was setting it up with a certain theme introduction to a certain um, movie studio, and it got flagged. So I had to re-edit the video, and in it I address it, and I, <laughs> I say, all right, well, I don't want to get a copyright claim, so we'll just use public domain. And I used um, pack up your troubles in your old kit bag. Pack up your troubles in your old kit bag and smile, smile, smile. That was not bad. I am not a vocalist in any way, but that did not sound bad at all. So we're going <laughs> to use a lot of public domain on this channel. Why not? I'm just gonna rip clips straight from um, *Brideless Groom*, the three, the three Stooges film. That's public domain. I love Shemp. I think Shemp is the best Stooge. All right, Rocky grew to nine. Rock throw? No. Oh, excellent, Adrian! You you did it. <laughs> you and your Pokemon have <laughs> no problem using this move. Take this flash, HM. All right, the, the people in Falker's gym are not going to be are not going to be Sylvester Stallone. This is this is getting annoying even for me. Flash illuminates even the darkest of all places, but to use it on a battle, you need the badge from Violet's gym. And I get it; it's a um, story progression thing. But like, I wonder how like if I always like if Pokemon were real life, what would have prevented you from using it? Is it like illegal? Is a cop going to stop you? Okay, so. There's what, one trainer, one trainer, and then Faulkner. As I always thought, is was it always that the the number placement gym it is like sequentially is the number of non-leader trainers in there? It was definitely that way with Brock. You're light years away from Brock. Yeah, if you picked uh, if you <laughs> were playing yellow and you ran with Pikachu, and yeah, just get a Butterfree. Oh yeah. Talk to this guy. Hey, what's up? I'm no trainer. I'm just an NPC that hangs out in gyms all day, but I can give some advice. Believe me. I'm trying to. If you believe a championship dream can come true, you believe? Then listen. Faulkner's ace is a bulky owl that loves to eat berries. Kind of like an unnecessary, like, secondary trait. I'm, so what? It ha it's holding a berry? Like, okay. It's only going to have one. Oh, so it's Noctowl. Noctowl's probably um, on this team now. While it's not the strongest, 
It can take a lot of hits. Rock and electric moves will hurt it, but watch out for a mud slap. If you want more help, check out Pokemon Academy. The students there really know their sh stuff. Well, oops. Um, oh yeah, because so that's one of the big things that um, in uh, Smith was explaining in the introduction video was that you know Johto Pokemon really didn't get represented well in Johto. So here we go. Let me see if you're good enough to face Faulkner. Okay. And yeah, Johto Pokemon really, really were underrepresented in the um, gyms. And even in the wild, I guess. Because really, you know, you only got, what, 100 new Pokemon debuted in Gen 2? Which kind of felt right at the time. I think 100 is a nice, clean number because, you know... As many, many have, I've heard many say that Gen 2 is supposed to be, like, really Gen 1.5. Um, makes sense that they put Kanto back in this game, which was incredible. I remember the first time I got off of the boat at Vermilion, uh, the SS Aqua, and with no context, oopsies, with no context in terms of, um, you know, not having the internet or strategy guide, the key word is Guts. Those here training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Come on! Training day and night, let me guess. Level 9 Spiro. Pidgey. Close enough. Um, yeah, getting off SS Aqua and then hearing that music, and I had no idea that they fit Kanto into the game. I just kind of thought it was going to be like a Sevy Island kind of thing before I even knew what that was. Oh, this crackly, crackly. Stop it. There we go. <sighs> okay, so I'm, I'm basically just hoping at this point that Onyx will know Rock Throw. If nothing else... I, I, okay, I'm thinking, do I want to catch, like, a joke Pokemon just to have for, like, rotating... Because the only way we're going to knock out, like, okay, because the accuracy, oh, not to, wow, I'm not even, like, addressing the fact that there's a not to in front of me. That's so weird seeing not to sprite, because not to is in a weird ruins of Alf spot that, unless you really wanted not to, you had to go out of your way to get it. And then, um, Will has Zatu. That's kind of weird seeing not to sprite. I guess it's not too common. <laughs> monetized um oh yeah no saying was do i want to catch like an extra pokemon just to have as a rotator to get out of this um because the accuracy drop stuff is, is, is just so annoying so i i think i might go with that because if we see our three pokemon okay so two of them are weak to ground mud slap and the one is weak to peck flying even though it is flying so i think we're just gonna get let's go get a sacrificial pokemon and we'll be right back with that sacrificial Pokemon. Okay, just that last tile. Last tile. Dun, 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 dun. Huh? Yeah, show no concern. Show no concern for the little boy that just fell. There's a strange presence in here. Oh, I got the dome fossil. I got some dome fossil. I'm going to put it in my key pocket. Yeah, I guess I could have just called like a Pidgey or something, but come on now. Don't, 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 don't. Which letter is that? Wait, which, which letter is that? Yeah, it's K. I just wanted to be super sure. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I didn't realize that ancient power. Oh, I didn't know that. This is actually going to be incredibly helpful. Oh, jeez. Oh, I didn't think that was going to be a thing. Okay. I really was just, I really just came over here for the lulls, but wow. Come on, you sucker. Get in there. Unknown was caught. Yeah, so that's definitely, that's definitely the K. And you know what? Like, it kind of looks like. <laughs> it looks like the. What are those things from Super Mario Sunshine? Like the what they call them, the the, the the quack quacks or whatever? Like the da 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 da, and they flip you upside down. And the symbol become because of different types of unknown because different types of unknown exist. 
that they must have a variety of abilities. I was not expecting the the ancient power thing. Wow, that's a if I don't remember Smith explaining that. I'm well, I'm sure in the video we we don't need ill ill. I don't like how that looked. I don't like how that looked just now. Let's, let's, let's get the heck out of here, especially because you're on one HP left. Um, why you would give unknown ancient power? It's probably got some reason. Did it ever? know anything other than hidden power wow so that's a nice surprise but what i'm intending to still do intending to still do intending to do is run with what we got see what that battle looks like and regardless of the outcome that'll be the end of the video and if we find that using unknown's ancient power will work out better then uh, we'll train it up, but we'll revisit that next video. Let's see if we can... Um, let's also get some berries on these guys because we can't use any items in battle. But what I'm going to do really, really quick is I want to get Onyx to level 10 because we may as well. So once again, I'm taking a lot of breaks here, but that's the power of OBS. All right, we got this guy leveled up, but he doesn't even learn Rock Throw. He learns, he learns Bind. Lawrence Bind. Um, but, I mean, we still have things we can work with. I guess we could Poison Powder Bind and stuff like that. But, I mean, we, 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 have, a, we have a chance here. But uh, let's get you to have a berry. And I guess we can give Unknown the XP share. I don't think we really need you to hold a berry. Like you're in there for... Like you're, you're in there to be a sacrifice. All right, and then uh, you all been patient. Let's get this battle going and uh, see how it goes. Let's save right here. I'm not going to reset or anything. I just feel like I should save. Okay. I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon wings with a jolt of electricity. No one, is, uh, no one has said that. Only you have said that, sir. I won't allow such inserts to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, let's see what you got, Falk Boy. Hey, yo, I just realized that sounded dangerously close to something else. Uh, I didn't really want to lead off with him, but uh, he's already here, so... If he starts using Mudslide, I'll pull him out. Yep. We we need we need Rocky for later. Let's uh Let's just get Cyndaquil in there. We just we just need to knock out the Pidgey, but there's no point of mud slapping him to death. Alright. Let's see. We get another mud slap down. That's when we might switch over to unknown. But really, unknown is only going to be there for one turn. Oh, this quick attack's already. But that's what we got the berry for, right? Oh, that's right, and that's right. You can't shift. It's set. Okay. That's helpful. I don't want to lose Cyndaquil this soon. Let's bring out Hopip. Figuring Noctowl is going to hit with Mud Slap. Of course. No, you just knew I was going to do that, didn't you? You butt wipe. All right. Well, it tanked it. Now we kind of got one shot for this poison powder thing. Maybe it's two. There we go. It's snowing poison. Hmm. I guess I can just try to absorb the thing to death. I mean, at this point, Hopip is really just there for... No, I could bring the defense down. That would help. See, the, the, the five-year-old... Wait, did it not do anything? Oh, it didn't have its turn yet. The, the five-year-old me wouldn't think that. The five-year-old me would... I used to think when I was, like, little, like, Oh, tail up doesn't do anything. All right, Hopip, you served your purpose. 
Um, let's go with Rocky. And then I'm just, I think we can just keep bringing its stats down. Uh, your growl failed. Might be getting a little bit lucky here. Sometimes you'd rather be lucky than good. But at some point, we're going to have to go after him. Uh, see, this is where being unpopular, you know, I could have a Twitch chat or a live chat help me with this. I guess I'll go with Bind because it won't, like, repeat a couple times. Oh my! I, I, it's one mud slap. It's just one mud. Sl I hate that. I hate that so much when it's just one mud slap and you're already missing. Okay. I'm gonna probably do the swap for unknown now, just so we can cancel out the accuracy accuracy drop. And you're just gonna be a sacrifice now. I'm trying to think if I want to send. Oh wow! Okay, that. Wow, that actually did a lot less damage than you thought it would. Okay, there's the berry that it loves to eat. It was just a regular berry. Let's see. Now the peck is going to do more. Yeah, the peck is going to do more. It's critical hit. I guess we'll go with Cyndaquil first because Cyndaquil is going to have the speed, or at least more than an Onyx. And let's go with Tackle because we brought down the... And you're going to bring down my attack, you jerk. That's right, get hurt by your poison. Come on, can we make this a first try against Faulkner? Oh, oh that, did, that still didn't do that much, though. Because I know it brought my tackle down, but still, you'd think it just would do... Okay, we're in the red, we're in the red. All right. Okay, I, AI, you don't want to... Ooh! That's it! First try on Faulkner! First try on a Crystal Legacy Gym. <laughs> Darn, my dad's chair is <laughs> Come on. I forgot that it's his. Was that the original text in vanilla? My dad's Pokemon. All right, take this. It's the official Pokemon Zephyr badge. And I got a thousand Poke Dollars. Yo, know, it's just so lame to lose a, a lose a battle and then say, oh no, my dad's Pokemon. It's like, I, oh, I wrecked my dad's car. Zephyr Badge raises the attack of the power of Pokemon. It also enables Pokemon to use Flash if they have it any time. Here, take this too. We got Mud Slap. By using a TM, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act. A TM can only be used once. It contains Mud Slap. It reduces the enemy's accuracy while it causes damage. In other words, it is both defensive and offensive. Well, you're offensive to me with your face. So, okay, everyone, that was a pretty successful first episode of my Crystal Legacy run. Be sure to check out Smith Plays Pokemon for more details on this. If you, Oh, wait, we get to illuminate this thing too, right? Right? We get to illuminate the first gym badge. Well, let's do that. Let's do... Okay, let's do that. Ching. Sparkle, sparkle. All right, awesome. Okay, you all take care. I'll see you again next time I do this. Hopefully it won't take two years. <laughs>